for this problem, I provide a detailed solution, definitely more detailed than it is necessary to receive a full credit. I will begin with considering a free body diagram for the beam and the weight resting on the beam. I show the weight, 2 mg. The constraints at O are on translations, therefore I show two forces. And uh, the weight is attached to a cable and I show it with the force T, oriented along the cable direction, denoted by the angle alpha. And finally, I show the force on the spring, which I denote by F. Um, the second free body diagram involves the pulley and the counterweight. I begin with showing the mass of the counterweight the constraints on the pulley imposed by the pin and finally the force T. I show the force T in green to indicate that this force T and this force T have the same magnitude and opposite direction as dictated by the third law. Now I will proceed with writing down equilibrium equations for these free body diagrams. For the pulley, the standard equilibrium equation, some of the moments about A implies that the tension in the cable is equal to mg. For the beam and the weight, I need only one equilibrium equation, some of the moments about O. This equation involves the weight the force F and the force T. The moment for the force T are computed is computed by assuming that the size of the box is small. As a result, we obtain the equation for the force F. Now, let us look at the spring. The force in the spring is tension, and its magnitude is equal to F. This is consistent with the free body diagram shown on the previous slide. And now, using Hooke's law, I can calculate the elongation of the spring as F over K, which gives me this expression. Finally, I observe that as the beam moves down and the spring elongates, the elongation of the spring delta is equal to the displacement of the tip of the beam. And the answer is given here.